Now the voice search built into the Amazon devices is really just the most efficient way for you to find content, search content, search your favorite official applications, and it just makes the whole navigation process so much easier. Like for example, from the home screen, I can say, watch Tech Doctor on YouTube. Now, even if I didn't say on YouTube, it would actually search those official applications and give me the option to search YouTube. Now, this works great on your official applications, Amazon Prime, Netflix, YouTube, but the ability to search third party applications, your favorite streaming applications with your voice is just something that we've been waiting for a very long time. But in this video today, let me now show you how you can use your voice on all of your third party applications absolutely free. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now I'm doing my demonstration on the Amazon 4K Fire Stick, but I've also tested this procedure on the second generation Fire TV Cube. And really, if your device supports voice search, you should now be able to use your voice on all of your favorite applications. Now, the first thing you need to do is just go over to your settings, go down into My Fire TV, click on About, and just ensure that you are running the very latest update. Now, I don't know exactly when this change came in, but I can confirm on my device running Fire OS 6.2.8.1, it definitely works on this release. Also, I will jump over to my Fire TV Cube, which is running Fire OS 7, just so you can see the process working exactly on that device as well. Okay, let's now press the Home key. Now, for the initial test, we can try something like Downloader. Let's now click on that. Now, when I click on search, we can see now at the bottom, it says press and hold your voice to search. So previously we'll be typing in, you know, addresses or searching for Tech Doctor UK. But now I can just use my voice and say Pluto TV. And that search term is straight away added into the keyboard. I can now click on go and that's now automatically typed in for me. So, and it's just so much quicker than typing things in manually. Now, downloader we could say is somewhat of an official application, but if I press the home key, here we can see Me Explorer. Let's click on that. Now the top, so we can see we have a search. If I click on that, here's the keyboard again. And once again, now I can press the voice search, Wolf. And there it is, guys. So voice search is working across all of these applications. And again, it just makes the navigation around your device so much easier. Now, I'm sure you probably don't care about these file managers or these downloaders. What you really care about is your favorite third party streaming applications. Now, I'm just going to blank out most of my screen, but let's say the one that begins with the C word. Now, this really is one of the most popular applications that many people use. It's not something that I'm using personally myself, but just for demonstration purposes, we can see now if I go over to the search icon, here is my standard keyboard. And I can now use my voice and just say The Walking Dead. And how amazing that, guys. I mean, just now using your voice to now find your favorite TV or movie shows or any content you're looking for is just so much easier than typing in all of those different words. And we see that's working absolutely fine. I can now click on next and that immediately finds all of that content that matches my voice search. And let's do one last test, Sherlock Holmes. There we are, click on next and all of that matching content is there. So that's working absolutely fine in this application. And let's try one more. Another popular one is the one that is a B, uh, sounds like a B or oh, it is a B, so let's open that one up. Now, if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag voice, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate, I'll then heart your comment. Okay, so this is the other application, which is also very popular. Let's go to search. And once again, with my voice, I can just say Star Trek. And we are straight in there, guys. So definitely all of your favorite applications, all of your favorite streaming applications can now be accessed and searched by just using your voice. 
So that's working great on the Fire Stick with my particular Fire OS version. Now for the people that have the Fire TV cubes or also the Fire Stick lights, those devices are running Fire OS 7. Let's now jump onto that device just so I can show you that it works perfectly fine on that as well. Here we are on my second generation Fire TV cube. Let's open up a file manager like Explore. And basically wherever the native keyboard opens up, we should now be able to use our voice. So let's say for example, I want to uh, go to internal storage, go to downloader, and I now want to create a new folder. Let's click on new folder. Now when it asks for the name, I can click on that. But now I should be able to use my voice. And let's say I'm gonna call this folder pictures. There we are, click on next, and we now have a new folder called pictures. So again, guys, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but it just makes the whole navigation, the interfacing, just really everything you do on your device so much easier when you can use your voice instead of typing things in. Let's try the real good application. Uh, click on search. I can click up here, use my voice, and just say Star Wars. Click on next and we can now see all of those results matching my voice search. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. As I said at the start of this video, the ability to search third-party applications is really something that we've been waiting for a very long time. And the fact that we can do it across all of our Amazon devices, I do think it's now a game changer. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.